Now we got to get into the game that everybody was looking forward to this weekend. Everybody was looking forward to the Ohio State Penn State game in Beaver Stadium in Happy Valley. And you guys make sure that you guys like, subscribe, tell a friend about the Unafraid Show. I'm going to give you a second. Share it with somebody right now who loves college football like you love college football. So about this game, this 20 to 13 win about Ohio State. Here are some hard truths from this game. There are people who are not going to want to hear it, but the reality is this. James Franklin is a very good football coach, but he has to figure his offense out because we have watched eight years of underwhelming offense in big games. You've had multiple offensive coordinators. This is not going to cut it for Penn State fans. And for a very good coach to not get one side of the ball figured out is a problem. So, so James Franklin, I know you hired a new officer coordinator and people are going to sit up there and try to say it's been good all year. No, it has not. No, it has not. You're, you're, you're not pushing the ball downfield uh, in the past game. Your, your, your running game, you're basically running some hybrid triple option thing. This ain't it. This is not it. This is not going to win you football games when it matters the most. You are going to out talent a lot of the other teams in the Big Ten. But when it comes down to it, you are not going to be able to beat the Oregons, the Ohio States, and when the Michigans are good. It's just the reality. This Penn State defense has will be consistently good. They are tough. And then they get let down by the offense. And it's got to be frustrating for fans. It's frustrating for me. I'm not even a Penn State fan. As a college football fan, I'm like, this anemic offense? Are there no threats downfield? Because they scored 13 points, but seven of them were by the defense. They only scored six points offensively. That is not going to cut it. That was two field goals. They had an interception that toward, toward the end of the half. That was a bad luck play. But then when they were down inside the five-yard line, after Ty Warren uh, got them down there, their superstar tight end, got them down there, nothing materialized out. They probably ran a set of the four worst plays that I've ever seen uh, coordinated at the same time. And yes, good coordinators have bad moments, but this was atrociously bad. It was. And now here is a hard truth about Ohio State. There's a lot of people that were praising this Ohio State offense. They're like, oh my God, masterful game by Chip Kelly. It was great. It was dominant. No, it wasn't. Did you watch the game? Their offense was okay. Is Penn State's defense good? Yes. But the reality is Ohio State scored. Two of the plays that they scored on were like trick them kind of plays. They ran one where um, I think it was Ag um, Agbuka ran across and then ran up the field on like a misdirection play. Like that wasn't just them just driving down scoring. And then they did it again later on in, in the game. So we're not getting ready to sit up here and act like Ohio State's offense was just a juggernaut. Will Howard finished 16 for 24, two touchdowns and an interception. It was cool. And yes, Judkins and um, and Henderson finished with, well, the they finished rushing. The whole Ohio State team finished rushing. 40 carries, 176 yards. Damn near all of it was by Judkins and Henderson. And yes, that was a good job by the Ohio State offense. But people were praising them after like we just saw some magical offensive explosion. They scored 20 points on a team that couldn't move the ball on offense. That that was just stuck in neutral all game. Like Ohio State's not clicking on all cylinders offensively. And I'm going to tell you this. This Indiana game with Ohio State, it is going to be a problem. 100% going to be a problem. And I know that people are like, oh, ain't no way, ain't no way. And that Michigan game might be a problem too. Just letting you know. Because um, Ohio State still has left Purdue, Northwestern, Indiana, and Michigan. That is a, that's a tough road to hoe right there. Tough road to hoe right there. So we're not getting ready to act like that, that, that there's nothing there. Penn State still has Washington, Purdue, Minnesota, and Maryland. That Washington game ain't exactly, even though it's in Happy Valley, it ain't going to be no layup. 
That Minnesota game could be tough too. They should beat Purdue and, and Maryland pretty pretty handily. But that Washington and Minnesota game are not going to be cakewalks with the way this offense is performing because Washington's pass defense is, if not the best in the country, one of the best in the country. Minnesota's defense is tough. Come on, man. <laughs> Things are a lot tougher out in the college football world.